This is Credit Matters, and I'm Greg Moskowitz, the Global Fixed Income Research Group. The number of potential downgrades remains at 724 as of May 31st, a level last surpassed in February of 2010. Most potential downgrades are from the financial institution sector with 136 issuers, or 18.8%, followed by the utility and oil and gas sectors at 76 and 75, respectively, which is not surprising given pricing pressures on commodities. Potential downgrades are issuers rated AAA through B-, with either negative rating outlooks or ratings on credit watch with negative implications. The number of potential downgrades is considerably higher than the one-year moving average of 660. We removed 63 issuers from our potential bond downgrade list and added 63. Financial institutions and utilities constituted most of the new additions this month with 10 issuers each. We monitor potential downgrades because those issuers are the most likely to be downgraded in the short to medium term, and their aggregate number points to the direction of potential rating changes. There were 59 downgrades in May from the last list of potential downgrades, of which 23 remain on the list. Timely and ongoing surveillance of issuers at risk of being downgraded can be valuable to investors in their sector credit allocation process, as well as in hedging against potential capital losses arising from a downgrade. This has been Credit Matters. Thank you for watching.